Most of the work we do in Rex is intended to make your life easier, whether you're a principal, uh, an administrator, or a salesperson. We build tools to simplify your process, to give you more capability to generate new business. Now, I'm gonna tell you something interesting. We want you to spend less time, not more, in our system. And the feature that we're gonna talk about today is all about less time, not more. More automation, so that you can spend more time focusing on uh, the real customer relationships that you guys are going to be generating. Guys, we understand that not everyone is super comfortable with automation. It's a fairly new concept. What we want to do is give you some simple, accessible steps to make it useful in your day-to-day -day life, to take some of the mystique and the mystery out of it. There are three key benefits to automation. Making more commission, working better with your customers, and winning back more time to do the things that are important for you and your business. We're going to talk about schedule tracks and reminders. I'm going to hand you over to Tom, who will take you through what's been happening. Automation has been a key focus for us over the past 12 months. And over the next year, you're going to see even more opportunities in Rex to be able to capitalize on the benefits of automation. The time you spend automating your processes now can pay back tenfold down the road. By entrusting Rex to handle all your repetitive administrative tasks, you're freeing up yourself or your team to focus on what you do best, which is build relationships with buyers and sellers. As an agent, one of the most repetitive tasks you can do is consistently touch base with all your potential prospects and buyers. This can be an arduous task that can often fall to the wayside when you're under the pump. This brings me to the feature we're talking about today, scheduled reminders and tracks. Setting email and SMS reminders is great, but they still require that manual click on the dashboard for the messages to actually go out. Not anymore. This functionality lets you mark reminders to send automatically on the due date. This means you can use these reminders in set and forget tracks and have messages going out uh, on a frequent basis without any human intervention. This functionality is particularly useful if you are building a long-term, say, six-month follow-up track where you have messages going out on a frequent basis and you want them staggered over time. It's also useful if you were building an inspection follow-up track. So if you're an agency that deals with a lot of buyers, you can fully automate your inspection follow-up process. This is the third piece of functionality we've introduced around automating a message sends following the schedule newsletters and schedule mail merge functionality we released earlier last year. All right, now I'm gonna hand you over to Maisie who will walk you through exactly how to use this feature. Thanks, Tom. Hi, Maisie from Support here. Now you've gotten some background on the new scheduled tracks and reminder feature, I'll now walk you through on how it looks in the product and how we can get the most out of it for you. Let's take a look. I'm going to head to settings and click tracks, merge and brochures. We're already in tracks, so let's scroll down. A great example here is an anniversary track. Here is a track that I've already created. As you can see, there is an email set up to be sent for a year after settlement. If I edit the reminder, you can see I've set up all the details and attached an email template to be sent off. You'll notice a new option here, Scheduled Send. Clicking this, I have the option to decide who it is being sent from. Let's go with the contact record owner because they probably already have a relationship with this person. I'm also gonna go with 9am. Click Done and then Save. From here, we can add the track onto a contact record and leave it to do its thing. Let's go to my contact record. If we scroll down on our contact record, and click Reminders, here is where we can add the track. I'm gonna type in Anniversary, there's our track, and click Add Track. Set and forget. I guarantee, as I'm explaining this new feature, you're probably already brainstorming ways on how to use this. As we roll out this new feature, we are super keen to hear your ideas and different ways that you'd like to use this, as I recognize that every agency is different. So if you had any questions at all, please reach out to myself and the customer care team so we can help you out.